Hello, everyone, and welcome back to our series on conversational English. How's everybody doing? Have you had a chance to take some of the things that you've learned in our lessons and uh, start using them as you meet English speaking people? I hope so. Whenever you're making friends with people, you want to be looking for things to talk about when you get together. And today we're going to talk about animals. Because it's one thing that many people like to talk about is their animals. Many people are animal lovers and they just love to talk about their pets. And uh, so it's good to learn some questions that you can ask about animals so that you'll have some things to talk about the next time you meet up with your English speaking friends. Let's think about some questions that you can ask to start a conversation about animals. One good one is, by the way, do you have any pets? Do you have any pets? Pets is an English name that we give for any animal that people might have living with them in their home that they take special care of. The most common pets that people have are cats and dogs. Some people actually have both, but it's more common for people to have one or the other, either a dog or a cat. In fact, a common question that people will ask when they are first getting to know someone in English anyways, maybe it's universal, I don't know, but people here in Canada, the United States, if they're meeting someone, they might ask them, are you a cat person or a dog person? I know it sounds a little funny to people just learning English, probably. It simply means, which animal do you like the best? Which animal do you personally identify with? Some people really love cats and don't like dogs that much. Other people just love dogs and don't really care that much for cats. They'd just as soon not have a cat around. When people are choosing their friends, some people like to know personal preferences like this. But cats and dogs are not the only pets that people have. Some like to keep fish. Others like reptiles, birds, or rodents such as hamsters, guinea pigs, and even mice. Here are some more questions that you can ask your new friend about animals. What is your favorite animal? What is your favorite animal? As you talk about that a little bit, they'll tell you what they like the most, what kind of animal they like the most. Your next question may be, why? Do you like that animal the most? And that starts the conversation, right? Why do you like that animal the most? And so they'll go in and they'll maybe think about it for a little while. And then they'll come up with a, a reason as to why they really love that animal above all other animals. When they start to wind down and uh, can't think of too many more things to say about their favorite animal, you might want to follow it up with this question. What is your least favorite animal? What is your least favorite animal? Which animal don't, do you not like at all? And then you might also ask, why? Why is that animal the least favorite on your list of animals? Why don't you like rodents or why don't you like snakes? And that can start another whole conversation. They might tell you a story about how they were hiking one time and 
and uh, they got bit by a snake. And so from now on, they just hate snakes. And uh, some people really don't like spiders. That's my daughter, for example. She just does not like spiders. One time she saw a spider in her bathroom. And for the last nine months, she hasn't wanted to take a bath in her bathtub because she saw a spider nine months ago. She really doesn't like spiders. But it's fun to find out from your friend what is their least favorite animal. Now, some might ask, well, is a spider an animal? I thought it was an insect. Well, actually, insects are animals too. Another question that you might ask that kind of goes along with the last question, you could ask them, are there any animals that you are afraid of? Are there any animals that you are afraid of? Why? Why are you afraid of that particular animal? Another question that uh, people like to talk about with their friends to find out what type of thinking they have about animals, you might want to ask them, what do you think about keeping animals in zoos? What do you think about keeping animals in zoos? And that can start another big conversation about why they might think it's cruel to keep animals in zoos, or they might like the idea of zoos so that they can take their children. Maybe they're living in a big city like Toronto and they want to be able to introduce their children to uh, all of the animals from around the world and here's a good place to go. So people will have different opinions about keeping animals in zoos and you might talk to your friend about it for another five minutes. It can really get a conversation going. Another question might be, what do you think about the way animals are treated on factory farms? What do you think about the way animals are treated on factory farms? Have you heard of these factory farms? where chickens might spend their whole life just in a cage, plopping out their eggs, and that's their whole life, just huddled in a cage. What do you think about that? A whole big factory barn full of chickens just sitting in their cages. Do you want to eat an egg <laughs> that has been produced this way? And what about how the animals are being treated uh, when they are working like this on a, a factory farm. Some people feel so strongly about this that they've decided for them they want to become vegetarians because they just don't like the way animals are treated when they are mass-produced for food like this. Have you ever thought about becoming a vegetarian? You might ask. Someone who doesn't like the way animals are treated? Have you ever thought about becoming a vegetarian? It's a good question to ask people who love animals. They might tell you, oh yes, I, I've been a vegetarian for 15 years because I just really don't like the way animals are treated on factory farms. Another question that you can ask people, especially if they've shown that they are a real lover of animals, uh, you can ask, you know, a lot of animals are becoming extinct these days. Do you think we should be doing more to preserve animals on our planet? Do you think we should be doing more to preserve animals on our planet? to make sure that they don't go extinct. And, you know, that can be another whole five-minute conversation as you talk to your new friend. There's just so many things that you can talk about when it comes to animals. 
I don't know if you've had a chance to see it yet, but I've recently posted a vocabulary video to help you learn the English names of 100 beautiful animals. Have you seen that one? I'm going to put a link to that video in the description below. Just scroll down a bit and you'll find that link in the description section for this video. And you can learn all those 100 names of the most common animals uh, on our planet. Before we close out today's video, I want to tell you about some exciting news. My wife, TK, and I are working on developing an app that you can use right on your phone to help you learn English. We found that uh, people love coming to watch our English language videos, but often they're on YouTube, uh, they get uh, taken away to somebody else's channel. After they've watched one of ours, suddenly they're off on somebody else's channel and they have a hard time finding us again because they haven't subscribed. That's one reason. But uh, even when people have subscribed, they can be off in another direction and th they may have a difficult time finding their way back. And they get frustrated with YouTube because they see all of these other channels, but they can't find Study English with us or Study English with Frank. Many people have asked us, you know, they write in, do you have an app where we could just have your channel right on our phone so that you are only one tap away whenever we want to study? Well, what do you think? Does that sound good to you? Let us know in the comments below if that is something that you think would be helpful for you. Uh, you know, it takes a, a lot of time and money to develop phone apps like this. But we're hoping to launch uh, this application. It'll be available either on the iPhone or the Android platform as well. We hope to launch it uh, within a month with at least some of our lessons, some of our content, and then we'll keep adding more as we go. So if that sounds good to you, let us know, and uh, then we'll be sure and let you know once that app is available at the App Store and the Play Store. I'll keep you posted on our progress for that. The other thing I wanted to ask you about, uh, and that is Facebook. I noticed that a number of students have, uh, I guess, found me on Facebook, found my Facebook page and have asked to join. And I haven't really responded to um, any of you because I've been keeping that Facebook page just kind of for my own family. Uh, so I guess my question is, would you find it helpful if we created a Facebook group just for study English with Frank. And that way we could open it up to all of our students to join and um, give us an opportunity to communicate and uh, have conversations over Facebook. Does that sound like something that uh, would be good for you? Let me know in the comments below. And if I get enough of you interested, we'll maybe start a Facebook group. I might point out that the new app that I talked about for the phone that we're working on also has a way to do that kind of uh, community conversation, almost like it's a Facebook group right on the app itself. And so that might be the best solution. Uh, we might not have to create a Facebook group at all. We can just use the app. Everybody just sign up to the app and that way we can have our uh, group conversations right on the app and uh, not have to worry about making a Facebook group. Let me know what you think. Uh, should we do a Facebook group? or just wait for the app to come along. Let me know what you think in the comments below. All right, well, that's uh, it for our lesson today. Uh, we'll see you next time here at Study English with Frank. So long for now. <laughs>